This video will provide an overview of the steps used to rinse and quench a cell culture in order to collect a sample for intracellular metabolomics. For samples being sent to the Michigan Regional Comprehensive Metabolomics Resource Corps for analysis, please contact Corps staff for additional instructions about extracting, drying, or shipping your samples. These steps are best carried out outside of a cell hood, as the short duration of the procedure ensures that contamination from the non-sterile environment will not significantly affect the cell metabolome. As this procedure uses liquid nitrogen and dry ice, all proper safety precautions should be taken when performing these steps. This operation requires intricate choreography and timing, so as best practice before beginning a set of cell plates. Working beside the incubator, bioreactor, or shaker flask if possible to minimize transport time of cultured cells. Step 1. Assemble supplies. All supplies should be assembled before attempting the sample collection. These items include a vacuum aspirator to remove media and rinse, preferably with tip held by a clamp to allow free hand access, liquid nitrogen in a small handheld doer to rapidly freeze the cells, dry ice in a cooler to cool the plates after the liquid nitrogen quench, dispenser top, bottle, or pipette ready for rapid dispensing of rinse solution, a rinse buffer, Deionized water is commonly used as a rinse buffer if this exposure to deionized water is intolerable for cells. A 150 millimolar isotonic ammonium acetate solution can be used. This solution is of near neutral pH and is gentler on cells than pure water, but it is more compatible with the mass spectrometry equipment than a saline solution. Consult with staff of the Michigan Regional Comprehensive Metabolomics Resource Corps on selection of an appropriate rinse buffer. Step two, remove plates from incubator. Thoroughly aspirate media from each plate. Steps three through five must be completed rapidly so the cells are exposed to the rinse buffer for no more than five seconds. Step three, add rinse buffer. Gently add rinse buffer to the cell plate. You should use a volume somewhat greater than the volume of media to remove from the plate in preparation. Step four, aspirate rinse buffer from the plate. Quickly aspirate all rinse buffer from the plate. Step 5. Quench with liquid nitrogen. After setting the plate on the bench top, pour liquid nitrogen directly onto the surface of the open plate. This will rapidly freeze cells. Step 6. Transfer to dry ice. Watch for the most vigorous bubbling to stop, but some liquid nitrogen to remain at the bottom of the plate. At this point, transfer plate to the cooler with dry ice. Once this procedure has been completed with all plates, they should be covered, wrapped in aluminum foil, labeled, and stored at minus 80 degrees centigrade. Ship on dry ice to the metabolomics core where extraction and analysis are done on the same day. For information on the extraction steps, please see the video, Plated Cell Extraction, or contact the staff of the Michigan Regional Comprehensive Metabolomics Resource Corps.